Hi, everybody. I'm Dustin Plow, host and producer of New to the Streets, Unstoppable Entrepreneurs. Joining us inside the New York Stock Exchange is an unstoppable entrepreneur. Tim, welcome to Thank the New York Stock Exchange. Thank you, Dustin. Thanks for having me. Now, could you ever have imagined that this idea you had led to execution that ultimately led you here? That's uh, pretty, pretty mind-blowing. Not, not going to lie. Pretty mind-blowing. So tell us, where are you from? I'm originally Dutch and German, but have grown up in Asia and Europe for the most part. I went to college in the U.S. and currently reside in London. And how old are you? I'm 26. 26 years old. But this isn't your first company. Correct. Yep. I started a blockchain mining uh, venture back in 2022. Ran that for about a year, and then uh, that kind of segued into what I'm doing now. And what was the biggest lesson you learned from that first venture? It was uh, to pay attention, pay attention to the market, pay attention to areas of opportunity that others may look over um, because something is difficult uh, or may not be, uh, I don't know what the right word I'm looking for is right now, but... Yeah, that's that's kind of the main thing I took away from this. So your focus today, tell us about your company. Yeah, so I'm building OpenServe. We've been working on it for the past year and a bit. We are, we've essentially built a platform that helps other entrepreneurs build AI-powered apps. AI-powered apps. Yes. So tell me, give me the idea. I've got an entrepreneur. They've got this idea in their head. Right. And they want to take it out. The problem is they simply don't have money. Because not all entrepreneurs have a bank or a friend that will loan them this money. And some of them, quite frankly, don't know how to take the risk. So talk us through who is the ideal customer for OpenSurf. So at the moment, it's a slightly to very experienced developer, um, a builder, someone who can take an idea and with our platform, with our tooling, can turn that idea into a product and generate revenue in a record amount of time. Something that previously would have taken a $3 million seed round and a team of 15 can now be done by a team of one or two. Um, and you can take a six month development cycle and compress it into a week. Yeah. I'm a bit older at 42 and I've got the, the wisdom lines and I'm a little gray to, that I remember this time of dial up connection that in order for me to download something or go on a website, it took time. What I'm hearing you say is that the way it's being done right now is very similar to the way it was with dial-up and that the technology that you're bringing to the table allows them now to be part of this, let's call it fiber optics. Exactly, yeah. I mean, right now we're still in this kind of legacy paradigm of uh, incumbent applications, incumbent software that's built on incumbent systems. And we're moving to this new paradigm of AI everything. You use AI to build software and the AI and the software itself is using AI to uh, execute its functionality. And what that means is we have apps that are 10, 100 times more powerful and more intuitive to use, and they're 100 times easier to build. So these current chief technology officers, are most of them dinosaurs? I would say so, yes. Yeah, I think we're seeing a huge influx of entrepreneurs that are in a much younger category and bracket um, who, have a, who are internet native. They've grown up in this uh, vastly quickly changing landscape and are able to keep up with the pace of change that someone um, from the previous generation perhaps isn't able to come to terms with as much. You know, as somebody who has myself invested in companies in the tech sector, the thing that I always found the most challenging was that I wasn't the best programmer. So I had to rely on these development teams and it would take them six to eight months and, and more money than I truly probably wanted to spend. It sounds like what you're telling me is that you don't need that process anymore. Exactly. I mean, what AI does, and particularly what we're doing, is we're commoditizing skills, something that previously took uh, an expensive education and, and a year, years of career building. You can now equip at your hand with a, with a small subscription fee, and you can manip manipulate skills, digital skills, to your, uh, to your liking and in ever which way you want. So infinite scalability. Yes. And unlike humans, and I think I fall into this trap where I, I tend to make the same error, that it sounds like we can train this so that it isn't going to be the same problem over and over, that it, it can ultimately 
fix the problem and move forward. Yeah, I mean, the, the end goal of, of the space and particularly us as well is to create a kind of super brain, something, a multimodal consortium of different skills and cognitive processes that try to uh, attempt to mimic the brain and self-improve over time and create this kind of uh, black hole uh, singularity of intelligence that one can wield and apply to building software and building businesses. Now, I think that there will be people clearly that are concerned that this will take their jobs, but at the same time, won't this ultimately give them the ability to have on their resume that they have worked with AI agents before this infrastructure and that these tools isn't just giving them what they need to ultimately thrive in the years? Yeah, we are. Our, our mission is to build a future of entrepreneurism, entrepreneurialism. Uh, right now, we're looking at by 2030, uh, 300, 400 million knowledge worker jobs are going to be lost, gone. What are these people going to do? Are they going to wait for Uncle Sam or the taxpayers to feed them? No, I think that's a terrible option and not one that we should pursue as a, as a society. We should be giving people the tools to take autonomy themselves, uh, basically take things into their own hands and become an entrepreneur, build businesses. I and mean, we've seen that time and time again over throughout history, times of crises have produced a society of entrepreneurs. And we're trying to build the next society of AI native entrepreneurs. So open source was built by entrepreneurs for exactly. entrepreneurs like we want to get we want to empower other people to take that late leap take that step into entrepreneurialism and uh yeah venture out into the to the deep dark wilderness and try and build something great and our mission is to make that leap as easy as possible and as accessible as possible where it doesn't take a massive team a massive amount of funding a network and connections um, and that's kind of how we got our start too. Like we didn't have a ton of uh, sort of like VC connections. We crowdfunded and we've built something amazing here just with our own sheer hard will um, and using the tools we have at hand. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Unstoppable Entrepreneurs.